In the previous video, we looked at simplifying algebraic expressions using like and unlike terms. Now, we're going to have a brief pause and look at the exponent laws so that we can multiply, divide, square and raise to a power our different um, expressions. Okay, so when we look at exponents, the thing on the ground is called the base, all right? And the thing in the air is called an exponent. Together, they make up a power. a to the power n means a times a times a times a times a times a times blah 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 n times. Okay, so there are n number of a's that are multiplied together. You must memorize the squares and cubes on page 45. In other words, 0 to the power 2 is 0, 1 to the power 2 is 1, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 3 to the power 2 is 9, and so forth. Alright, but let's look at our first law of exponents. The first law says that when we multiply in the ground, and they are like bases, in other words, the a and the a must be the same and we're multiplying on the ground, we keep the base the same, and we add the exponents. In case you don't see this, this says don't change the base. Alright, so for example, x to the power 5 times x to the power 7. You don't need this step, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. That's 7 plus 5, which gives us x to the power 12. Alright, over here. Now, you guys tend to be fine when the base is a variable, but let's just look at what it looks like when there's no variable. 3 times 3. Okay, but we don't change the base. The base stays the same, and we add the exponents. That gives me 3 to the power 9, and of course you can use your calculator to simplify that, but the question usually will say without the use of a calculator. Okay, these exponential laws you must know off by heart. Let's have a look at what happens when we have a negative base. When you have a negative number to an even power, the answer is always positive and you give the power to the base. If you have a negative number to an odd power, the answer is always negative and you give the power to the base. Alright, the way that I try and think about it is, um, you know when people drive in cars, they don't like putting the stereo up, the volume up on a odd number. So if you have to choose between 12, 13 and 14, people won't leave it on 13, they'll either move it down to 12 or up to 14. Then they're happy. Then it's positive. They're happy. But if you force them to leave it on 13, then they're going to be unhappy because it's going to bother them. And they're going to be unhappy. So when it's an odd exponent, then negative. But you must note that this is different to x to an even power like that. Okay. Here, the power only belongs to the x. The negative is unaffected. So this stays negative x to whatever power that was. Okay. So let's have a look at this. Let's say we have different bases. Okay. Now again, you don't need this step, but it's very similar to like and unlike terms. You must group together the like bases. x squared times x to the power 4. Okay. They go together. And the y's go together, y to the power 6 and y to the power 5. That's y to the power 6 times y to the power 5. Okay. We add the exponents, that's x to the power 2 plus 4. We only add the exponents of the x's times y to the power 6 plus 5. Again, we only add the exponents of the y's. That's x to the power 6 and y to the power 11. You can write the multiply in between, but you really don't have to. Alright, 
So you don't need this step. You can just say, okay, 2 plus 4 gives me 6. 6 plus 5 gives me 11. So you can skip both of these steps. They're unnecessary. I'm just showing you what it looks like. All right. So let's do this a little bit faster. We have 3 to the power 4 times 3 and no other 3s. And 5 to the power 7 times 5 to the power 4 and no other 5s. Times 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 4. Now notice that I'm treating it exactly the same way. I'm not saying 3 times 5 times 2. I'm saying, okay, the 3s together, the 5s together, the 2s together. Now remember, if there is no exponent for something, then there's an invisible exponent 1. So this is 3 to the power 4 plus 1. And then 5 to the power 7 plus 4. And 2 to the power 3 plus 4. Okay, when you're multiplying on the ground, you add in the air. This is 3 to the power 5. 5 to the power 11 and 2 to the power 7. Now, if this is without the use of a calculator, you leave it exactly like that. Okay. So, for example, over here you're going to say x to the power 5 plus 3, and that's going to give me x to the power 8. But over here, Bedmas says we must do exponents first. So I'm going to do the exponent first. Okay, I'm going to leave the x where it was and a negative inside the bracket to an odd power is negative and then x to the power 3. Okay, we have a negative times a positive and negative times a positive gives us negative and we add the exponent of the x's so that's 4. Let's do this one a little bit faster. I'm going to skip a few steps. a times a to the power 5. That's a to the power 1 plus 5 because there's an invisible 1. And then b to the power uh, 1 times b to the power 7. That's b to the power 1 plus 7. Okay. Now, I skipped this a initially. Okay, so we have a negative to an even power. Notice that the negative is inside the bracket, otherwise it would work differently. Negative to an even power is positive, so this is just a squared. Okay. This is a to the power 6 times b to the power uh, 8 times a squared. Okay. A to the power 6 times A to the power 2 gives me A to the power 8 and B to the power 8. And if you need the in-between steps, ask your teacher, message me, whatever you need. Okay. Then let's look at number 7. Let's say they have coefficients. Now I need you to pay attention to this one. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the coefficients as usual. 7 times 3. Okay? And then I'm going to group the m squared and the m to the power 12 together. And this is in color. You don't need that step at all. You don't need it. I'm just showing you what happened. Similarly, what I'm actually doing is I'm saying, okay, this is 7 times m squared times 3 times m to the power 12. And I'm rearranging it so that my numbers are together and my m's are together. Okay. So, 7 times 3. They're not like bases, so we multiply them as usual. That gives us 21. And then I'm going to add the exponents of the m's. That gives me 21m to the power 14. You don't need this step. You don't need this step. You don't need this in pink. Okay. You can immediately go to this answer. Notice once again that the coefficients are multiplied, the exponents are added. Alright, let's look at a difficult one. Okay, so we have 3 times 2 times negative 4 times 5 times 7. 
that 7 over there. Then for the m's, we have m to the power 2 plus the invisible 1 plus 10 plus that invisible 1 plus that invisible 1 over there. Okay, you don't need this step, by the way. I'm grouping all my m's together. Then we have n to the power 5 plus 7 plus that invisible 1 plus that 2 and there's no m o uh, n over there. Okay, so let's use our calculator to work this out but let me help you predict over here. We have a positive times a positive times a negative times a positive times a positive. That's going to give me a negative answer and you type in 3 times 2 times negative 4 times 5 times 7. That's going to give you negative 840. Then for the m's, we add our exponents. 2 plus 1 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. That's going to give me 15. And for the n, again, we add our exponents. 5 plus 7 plus 1 plus 2. That's going to give me 15 as well. You can split this up into more steps, but you really don't have to. To practice all of this, you're going to go to exercise 1 on page 47 of your grade 8 textbook. Let's have a look at some more complicated um, questions. Over here, we want to multiply these together. Okay, we have 2 times 3, that's 6, add this exponent to that exponent, that's 5, add this exponent to that exponent, that's 4, okay, times, now we're going to multiply these together, and you can do it in a different order, you can do it these, then that, then that, you don't have to do it like this, but it's going to give you the same answer. Negative times negative is positive. 3 times 2 is 6. Remember, it's not 3 to the power 2. It's 3 times 2. Add this exponent to that exponent. That's m to the power 2. And this exponent to that exponent. That's m squared. Alright. Now, again, these are unlike terms. But they are allowed to be multiplied. And they terms because they actually glue together so it's one term 6 times 6 is 36 5 plus 2 is 7 and 4 plus 2 is 6 that's our final answer okay let's compare it to this we cannot add these two together this is unlike to that, so we can't add them together. But despite that, Bitmas says this is multiplied together. When there's a bracket next to a bracket, there's an invisible multiply, so this needs to go first. Okay, so we have 2mn cubed minus 3m cubed n plus. Okay. Negative times negative is positive. 3 times 2 is 6. m stays m. And n squared times n is n to the power 3 because there's an invisible 1. Okay. You don't need this in between step. You don't need this step. You can have 2m n cubed minus 3m cubed n plus 6m n cubed from the start, and now you're going to say, okay, well, this is like to this. I'm going to add them together. 2 plus 6 is 8, and remember, when we're adding on the ground, nothing happens to the exponents. So it stays exactly the same. And this one just comes along. They're unlike, so we cannot add them together. Okay. To practice this, you're going to do exercise 6 on page 86.
Alright.